Hey everyone and welcome back to the workshop. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of soldering irons. Now I know what you're thinking. Soldering irons? That's pretty specific, right? But trust me on this one. These tools are more than just hot tips and molten metal. They're the unsung heroes of countless projects, from building your own electronics to crafting intricate jewelry. We're going to break down the science behind these seemingly simple tools, explore their incredible versatility, and by the end of this video, you'll be itching to get your hands on a soldering iron and start creating. Whether you're a seasoned maker or just starting out, there's something here for everyone. So grab your safety glasses and let's get our hands dirty. All right, before we fire anything up, let's understand the magic happening at the heart of a soldering iron. At its core, a soldering iron is basically a cleverly disguised heating element. Think of it like a really focused stovetop burner with a metal tip that gets scorching hot. We're talking temperatures up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. But heat alone doesn't cut it. That's where solder comes in. Solder is a metal alloy, usually a mix of tin and lead, that melts at a relatively low temperature. When you touch the heated soldering iron tip to the solder, it melts, creating a liquid metal bridge. This molten solder flows onto the components you want to join, and as it cools down, it solidifies, creating a strong, electrically conductive bond. Think of it like welding on a miniature scale. You're essentially fusing different metal parts together, except instead of a blinding arc, you've got a precise, controlled heat source. This controlled heating is key because it allows you to work on delicate electronics without frying the entire circuit board. Now, let's talk about why soldering irons are essential for electronics. Imagine trying to build a computer, a smartphone, or even a simple LED circuit without soldering. It would be like trying to build a house without nails or screws. Soldering is the backbone of electronics assembly, providing secure and electrically conductive connections between components. Think about a circuit board. You've got resistors, capacitors, transistors, all these tiny components that need to be connected in a precise way. Soldering allows you to attach wires to these components, creating a pathway for electricity to flow. It's like building tiny bridges between different parts of a city, allowing information and power to travel where they need to go. But soldering isn't just for building new electronics, it's also crucial for repairs. Say a component on your circuit board burns out. With a soldering iron, you can easily remove the faulty part and solder in a replacement. It's like performing microsurgery on your electronics, bringing them back to life with a steady hand and a trusty soldering iron. While soldering is often associated with electronics, its uses extend far beyond circuit boards. Soldering irons are incredibly versatile tools, proving their worth in various metalworking applications. One prominent example is plumbing. For decades, plumbers have relied on soldering to create watertight seals in copper pipes. The process, known as sweat soldering, involves heating the pipe fittings and applying solder, which melts and flows into the joint, creating a strong, leak-proof connection. But soldering's artistic side shines in jewelry making. Jewelers use soldering irons to join small pieces of metal, creating intricate designs and settings for precious stones. The precision offered by a soldering iron is unmatched, allowing for the creation of delicate filigree work, intricate chain links and custom-fitted ring settings. From simple repairs to crafting one-of-a-kind pieces, soldering is a jeweler's best friend. Beyond plumbing and jewellery, soldering also finds its place in stained glass art. Artists use soldering irons to join pieces of coloured glass, creating stunning windows, lampshades and mosaics. The soldering iron heats a metal alloy, typically lead or tin, which is then used to fuse the glass pieces together. The result is a beautiful interplay of light and colour, held together by the invisible hand of soldering. Now that we've seen what soldering irons can do, let's talk about the different types available. Think of it like choosing the right tool for the job. You wouldn't use a sledgehammer to drive a finishing nail, would you? The same principle applies to soldering irons. First up, we have the basic soldering iron. This is your entry-level model, perfect for beginners and simple projects. 
It typically has a fixed temperature and a simple on-off switch. Think of it as your trusty screwdriver, reliable for everyday tasks. Next, we have temperature-controlled soldering irons. These bad boys give you more precise control over the heat, which is crucial for working with delicate electronics. They often come with adjustable temperature settings, allowing you to fine-tune the heat for different types of solder and components. Now, if you're working on the go or need more portability, butane-powered soldering irons are your best bet. These cordless wonders run on butane gas, just like your camping stove, giving you the freedom to solder anywhere without needing an electrical outlet. Finally, for heavy-duty tasks that require a lot of heat, we have soldering guns. These beasts pack a serious punch, delivering high heat output for soldering thick wires and larger metal components. They're not as precise as their smaller counterparts, but they get the job done when you need raw power. With so many different soldering irons available, choosing the right one can feel overwhelming. But fear not, my fellow makers. I'm here to guide you through the selection process. The key is to consider your specific needs and the type of projects you'll be tackling. First, think about the application. Are you primarily working on electronics, jewelry, or something else entirely? Different applications require different levels of precision and heat output. For delicate electronics work, a temperature-controlled soldering iron is a must. For jewelry making, a smaller, more precise iron is ideal. And for heavier tasks like plumbing, a soldering gun might be necessary. Next, consider the level of control you need. If you're a beginner, a basic soldering iron with a fixed temperature might be sufficient. But as you gain experience and tackle more complex projects, you'll appreciate the fine-tuned control offered by a temperature-controlled model. Finally, think about mobility. Do you need a soldering iron that you can easily take on the go? If so, a butane-powered soldering iron is a great option. But if you're mostly working in a workshop or at a desk, a corded model will provide more consistent power. So there you have it, folks. The wonderful world of soldering irons. We've busted the myths, explored the science, and hopefully ignited a spark of curiosity in you. Remember, these tools are more than just hot tips. They're gateways to creativity, problem solving, and a whole lot of fun. Whether you're fixing a broken gadget, building your own electronics, or crafting beautiful jewelry, a soldering iron can be your trusty sidekick on your making journey. So go out there, get your hands dirty, and don't be afraid to experiment. And who knows, maybe your next creation will be the spark that ignites someone else's passion for making. Until next time, keep tinkering, stay curious, and always have fun.